the flues suddenly released released various ghostly images and terrific screams you made that word up around his labeled bodies and the ice climbers suffered a lot of damage i wonder what differentiates a labeled body from a normal body how is it labeled in in what fashion is it is it labeled the ice climbers suffered a lot of damage nana are you all right Popo asked, worried. Yes, I'm fine, but they are go so going gonna get it now, she said with her hammer ready to hit the flues. Popo joined her, and they fought, they fought against the flues. Humph. <laughs> Mewtwo was getting attacked by a row turret, the enemy with a skull face and stays in midair, firing six bullets at you. Okay. The row turret so shot six rounds of bullets, but Mewtwo just stood there in the middle. Your blind spot. It's so obvious to discover. Then the psychic Pokemon proceeded to use a charged Shadow Ball. After that, he used his teleport move, and he appeared behind the Rotorra teleports behind you. Ha <laughs> 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 Nothing personnel, kid! and followed his barrage of attacks with several psychic slashes, and the Rotorra blasted off. Mewtwo grinned a little, and he floated away. P Pikachu, help me! Pichu was being surrounded by sword primates. Pikachu was occupied with several glyces rolling after him. Instead of Pikachu's help, um, Jigglypuff came using rollout, but it only defeated one of the sword primates. But Pichu summoned his bravery, and he used a thunder. He was struck by it, but the electric attack electrocuted all of the oh, fuck, sword primates. And Pichu was a little dizzy after using Thunder. Jigglypuff slapped his face, and Pichu returned to normal. Meanwhile, Olimar was commanding his Pikmin to build a bridge with sticks. Chris came with his blue Pikmin, and he ordered them to help building the bridge. Chris, look behind you, Olimar said. A Greep! A Greep was about to slice him with his razor blades. Chris gasped. But Lucario appeared in front of him, and he stopped both razor blades with his hands extended. Chris saw his opportunity, and he ordered some Pikmin to attack the head of the Greep. He threw 30 blue Pikmin at the red head, and since the Greep was busy trying to get his razor blades from Lucario, he was being defeated slowly by the Pikmin, and finally the Greep blasted off. Thanks, Lucario. You were a big help to me, Chris said, thanking the Aura Pokemon. Again, you know, you can just say, th you don't need to say thank you and then describe him as thanking the person. Just, it, 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 you've already made it obvious in the dialogue. You don't need to trouble yourself with that unnecessary, superfluous shit. Let's move on, Lucario said. The blue Pikmin finished the bridge and Olimar saw a rocky wall blocking the path. Chris told Lucario to punch the wall. He nodded and the wall went down with five hard punches. But now the next part was harder, because the sticks to make another bridge was at the other side. Let's see if we can find another path, Olimar said, running back to the landing site. The blue Pikmin, Chris and Lucario followed him. Um, hey, this way has fire sprouting from the ground. Roy discovered a path with fire sprouting from the ground. Olimar came just then, and he had an idea. He went to the blue onion, and he ordered the blue Pikmin to return. Then he went to the red onion, and called 50 red Pikmin. Um. He went to the blue onion, and the blue Pikmin. Oh, I see what you have in mind. What do you have in mind? Sorry. Pikachu said. A group of Goliaths appeared, and he went to destroy them. Olimar ran to the fire path, and he threw er ah! and he threw every red Pikmin, and he told them to walk to the other side and search for sticks to make another bridge. Um, they walked and did exactly what Olimar told them to, to do, but they found a box blocking their way. They pushed it aside, and they started to make the next bridge. Pit, I need your help over here! Chris said. There was a flock of Auroros flying towards them. Pitt knew what to do, and he shot several arrows at them. However, an Auroros was going to fall over Chris, but he stepped aside, and the Auroros came falling down with his beak, and he was now stuck in the ground. I wonder if I... 
Chris grabbed the Auroros and he didn't move at all. Chris saw a Primids ready to punch Pichu from behind. He looked at the Auroros and he tossed it to the Primid. Both enemies blasted off and Pichu thanked Chris for helping him. See, that's what you should write instead of thank you Chris thanked him for thanking him or whatever. Hey everybody, we can advance through the bridge now, Olimar said. The Ten Smashers nodded, the Ten Smashers nodded, and they ran towards the other side of the lake, above the bridge made of sticks. They saw a wall made of hard vines, and Olimar ordered his Pikmin to take it down. Meanwhile, more Bitans came from nowhere, but Popo and Nana used their hammers before they could multiply. The Bitans didn't have much time, and they blasted they didn't had much time, and they blasted off. The wall is gone. The part it's just to the other side now, Olimar said. All of them, along with the fifty red Pikmins, ran to the other side of the wall. Music stops. The next area was covered by sand from the ground. It was a little big, but in the center there were strange green vines pointing to the sky. They were moving slowly too. What is that over there? Nana asked, pointing at the vines. I don't know, but the, po but the part is below the vines, Olimar said. Whoa, so you did defeat my horde of primates after all. The same dark hooded person from before appeared above the green vines, floating. Hey! Can't you just leave us alone? Jigglypuff asked angrily. Nope, you're just too interesting to fight with. So, come over here and let's fight, Popo said swinging his hammer. I'm afraid you have to wait a little longer this time too. Um, why? Chris asked. Shadow bugs, come forth and take this life form! He pointed. Oh, what the fuck! He pointed to the green vines with his glove, and shadow bugs came from it. The bugs showered completely the vines, and they turned purple. It's like that book, Annihilation. Um, you turned into a professional gardener by changing the colors of the vines. Now, Pikachu asked. Also, I think Annihilation, the movie adaptation, could be a solid contender at next year's Oscars. <laughs> book. Save that. Keep that in mind. Let's see how that turns out. Suddenly, the sand around the place was starting to shake violently. The purple vines were moving like crazy. The dark, hooded person smirked inside his hood. And everybody stood in a fighting stance. Then the purple vines were being lifted up from the sand. The sand was covering the view from the eleven smashers. And when the sand cleared out, there was huge, grotesque, giant purple bulb orb half awakened looking at them. The dark hooded person was at the top of the giant monster looking down at them. Ha 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 ha! Now let's see if you can take down this little pet of ours. Primate Bull Blacks, attack them! He ordered, pointing at the eleven smashers. Then he laughed maniacally and disappeared. The Primate Bull Blacks made a bored roar like he didn't care at all. Anyone have an idea to defeat this huge thing? Pit asked, worried. So what the fuck is a Bulblax? Bull... Bear with me. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, 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 so is it loading? Is it loading? Bull... Oh, no, not quite. Uh, Bulblax. Oh, fuck. What's a Bulblax? Alright, let's find out. Bulblax. Emperor Bulblax. Alright. So what the fuck is an Emperor Bulblax? It's, um... Diodema Medara. Ah! Oh! What the fuck? Fuck that. That is hideous. Ech! Oh, apparently it's the final boss. In the original Pikmin game. He's fucking hideous in any case. Alright. Um... Preview of the next chapter. We finished this one, apparently. Um, preview of the next chapter. I'm Jigglypuff. I'm Pichu. He's big. He's gross. He uses his huge tongue to suck us. Oh, that's hot. He stomps the ground in rage. He drools. 
Ew. Anyway, we have to beat this huge thing, or else Olimar will not return to his home. I'm going to sing to sleep him. And us? You too. It's my favorite band. Fuck up! Please, please don't do it. Next time, Bulb Orb of the Primates. Do you want to save your data? Yes. Override file? Yes. The final trial. Chris, Lucario, Pichu, Roy, Mewtwo, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Pit, Ice Climbers, Olimar. Author's note. And did you like it? I hope so. Read and review. Question. Do you want other worlds that aren't from Nintendo to be saved too? Well, I mean, you know, Metal Gear Solid isn't Nintendo and Sonic isn't Nintendo and they're both, they're both part of the story, so, uh... I guess so. It's gonna be pretty. Like I said, it's gonna be. Pr it'll be pretty interesting to see <laughs> Lucario and Chris running around fighting fucking Ocelot or whatever.